here we introduce a new device called uh, electronic crop or e-crop in short. This is nothing but a device which communicates from the field on behalf of the crop. Electronic crop or e-crop is an electronic crop simulator which if installed in the field will give vital information about the crop to the client thereby he will be able to take the remedial measures. This particular device is developed at ICR CTCRI a year back under the leadership and wisdom of Dr. Sandosh Mitra and in the beginning phase itself we have received a lot of uh, positive report, lot of appreciation about this particular device. The CTCRI has developed a new technology, which is a low cost technology, which is a merger of uh, crop simulation modeling and electronics, and which directly works from the field. It is, uh, the technology is uh, named as electronic crop, or otherwise e-crop in short. It is nothing but uh, an electronic crop growth simulator which works from the field. And this uh, appears to be more accurate because here we are using crop simulation models for calculation. Crop simulation model means crop physiology is well considered, well used in that uh, particular model. Hitherto we have been following satellite images to uh, know about the status of the soil and uh, uh, the, the, uh, the weather conditions for forecasting. Uh, but this particular device uh, helps a lot in the sense that in the previous one, if there can be obstructions due to atmospheric uh, changes, say for wind and uh, uh, cloudy weather, this particular device that we have developed rules out all such obstacles all such hindrances and the exact information can be passed on to the farmer. CTCRI over the last 50 years of its existence has developed many technologies like uh, high yielding varieties of uh, different tropical tuber crops uh, it's agrotechnics for uh, different regions, then uh, different plant protection and uh, processing technologies and all. Uh, in spite of all these things, uh, farmers face a lot of problems in the field, especially due to the fluctuations in pr production, fluctuations in market and all. So, uh, we have developed many models like uh, crop simulation models, market models and all to help farmers uh, in giving them advanced information about the production, market and all. Then uh, to perfect that thing, we thought of developing some technologies in which a crop itself communicates to the farmer about its status. The idea of developing this device was conceived almost two years back and uh, naturally there were some apprehensions initially since it is a, an entirely new device and uh, an electronic device working from the field that is another thing because an electronic uh, such a sophisticated device when it works from the field uh, whether uh, it can uh, survive these different weather vagaries and all. And uh, another thing is whether these models will give correct advisory. Data on weather parameters are collected by the device with the help of the sensors connected on the exterior of this particular device. So these are the sensors. This is a uh, wind anemometer which uh, collects uh, information on the wind speed. And uh, this, this, is, this one collects uh, information on wind direction and uh, this is tipping bucket which collects uh, data on rainfall 
and uh, temperature and humidity sensors are connected here and this is pyranometer which collects information on uh, solar radiation. This device works using solar power and uh, this solar panel is here and the solar battery is kept inside the device and uh, this device can work uh, continuously for almost two days even though there is a shortage of sunlight. The data collected by the sensors will be processed here by the Raspberry Pi unit and uh, that uh, data will be sent to the cloud using this modem connected here at 15 minutes interval. And in the evening after sunset, this data will be uh, downloaded to the local machine automatically and there it, it is processed using this crop simulation models and that will be, advisory will be generated and that advisory will be sent to the farmers. So uh, there is a web-based interface uh, through which the farmer can update the details of the farmer like uh, his name, address, uh, location, the crop cultivated, the variety and uh, such details and date of planting and all. And uh, based on this one, uh, the crop will give advisory and uh, based on the advisory, farmer can again intervene by adding more fertilizers and water. That information also can be updated through that web-based interface. So in this way, uh, over the entire crop duration, a uh, farmer gets uh, correct information, farmer can act. Action of the farmer is farmer's choice. After synthesizing the data, the equipment also gives an information that at the present day status, this is likely to be the yield. And when the condition change after a couple of days, it also will give an information in the present day context, this is going to be the effect. So the farmer can keep a, a, a very, uh, or rather monitor the kind of uh, the progress or the stages his crop is passing through and uh, correct uh, remedial measures can be taken whenever it is required. Also, if he is interested in targeted yield, this device will certainly help uh, him to attain what he actually targets. Here, we have used a crop uh, simulation model of sweet potato named Spot Comps, which is a uh, widely validated model, which is validated in different countries like uh, Uganda, USA, Southeast Asian countries and all. Uh, that model is used for giving predictions for sweet potato. Not only tuber crops, other like rice, wheat, rubber, any model can be used so that the device can give advice to that particular crop. And another thing is, one single device is sufficient to give advisory for the entire area having uniform weather conditions. And uh, soil data may be slightly varying in different fields. There we can have wireless sensors which collect information regarding soil moisture and other parameters. Uh, that is how this device works. Further enhancement we are making is, uh, in some areas where internet connection is poor and all, sometimes data transfer between device and the internet uh, is affected. So what we are planning now is we, we are going to minimize the data transfer between cloud and the device so that every processing will happen within the device itself. And the advisory will be generated within the device and from the device SMS will be sent to the uh, farmer. Once this comes into uh, a, a large scale use, uh, a centralized data bank can be created wherein information from all the units, once it is gathered together, forecasting for a particular crop, yield forecast, can very easily be given to the public. And therefore, it is not going to help the farmers alone, but even the government, so that suitable policy changes can be brought in if it is required. Yeah.